Hey guys, Amanda here at Bare Bones Living and welcome back to my kitchen. And this evening what I'm going to be making for dinner is nachos. Um, I have a few store-bought uh, tortilla chips left, uh, but not enough to make nachos for our whole family. So I'm going to try making my own tortilla chips. And so what that means is I have to first make my own tortillas and then I have to turn those into tortilla chips. Um, so I have made tortillas one time uh, when my girlfriend had her bachelorette party we went to like a cooking class and it was a Mexican cooking class and we made tortillas and at that place I got this really cool tortilla press and it works really well and I was like oh I have to have this and then that was like five six years ago something like that and I bought it and I still have yet to use it in my home so this will be a first time using it without professional supervision but you know we're on our pantry challenge and I'm not gonna go buy more tortilla chips and I want to know how to make my own tortillas and tortilla chips anyway uh, so I figured might as well start now so this is not a complicated recipe and today I'm gonna be making flour tortillas I prefer corn tortillas, but I don't have any masa, which is corn flour, to make corn tortillas, so I'm just going to be making the flour tortillas today, and I think my kids will probably like those better anyway. Um, so I'm just going to do two cups of all-purpose flour. A teaspoon of salt. A third of a cup of oil and then three quarters of a cup of water and I'm just going to mix this all together And then I'm gonna form the, I'm gonna, once this becomes a dough ball, I'm gonna form this into 10 dough balls. So this is gonna make 10 tortillas. Okay, so I have my 10 dough balls, and now comes the fun part where I get to use this tortilla press. And what I'm doing is just laying down a sheet of parchment paper on the bottom and I'll put the dough ball on top cover it with another piece of parchment paper and then smash it and the parchment paper is just to prevent it from sticking but I'm gonna aim you guys down here so you can actually see what I'm doing and we'll see how this turns out okay so let's see I'm gonna take my first dough ball set it down Put this parchment paper on top, kind of give it a little bit of a, a pre-smush. Put that down, and I'm just going to smash it. And it may not be perfect, but hey, that's pretty cool. It's a uniform tortilla. It's not going to be perfectly round, but that's pretty cool.
Okay, so this actually turned out pretty well. There was a little bit of a learning curve on getting the temperature of the cast iron just right to cook it. It took about two to three minutes per side to cook these, but like my first one is really dense because it was not hot enough. Um, and then it got too hot and got really smoky in my house. <laughs> but I mean, I think for my first time, this is not bad. Um, they're small tortillas, so you have to have a, a few of them uh, for an adult, but that's okay. Um, and you definitely don't need this tortilla press in order to do this. You could just uh, form them in those dough balls and then roll them out to the thickness that you want and fry them up. I just happened to have that and never used it, so it was fun to actually use it. And we could eat dinner with just these tortillas if we wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm actually going to take a pizza cutter and cut this up into like six to eight pieces, like pie pieces. And then I'm going to spray some oil on it and some salt and I'm going to air fry them to make them chips. And I have my air fryer basket here and I'm using my uh, toaster oven, that's what that's called, my toaster oven uh, has an air fryer setting on it. So I'm using the basket that comes in my toaster oven and we're going to put it at 350 for I think three minutes it takes. So let's see how that all turns out. Okay, so this is probably two thirds of the batch that I made. I ended up splitting it in half or splitting it in two thirds and a third because I didn't want to crowd them in the air fryer. Um, I did a single layer with giving them space around each one to really try to crisp them up. And they're not like a chip real hard. They taste and feel more like a pita chip, which isn't bad because I make a uh, homemade hummus that my kids absolutely love and this would like I can flavor these however I want and this would make a great pita for hummus. Um, and they, they taste fine. The edges are a little crispy, but it's not the crunch of a chip that you're looking for in a nacho, which is fine. We have plenty of chips here for our nachos. I'm still going to put these on just to um, use them up and so we can try them actually with a nacho. I still have the last batch going. It ended up taking about... It wasn't three minutes, it was more like six or seven minutes, but again, I don't have an air fryer. I'm just using the air fry setting on my toaster oven. So that might have something to do with it too. Um, so I would not say that this is a fail by any means. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's still delicious and we're still gonna have a delicious meal and I learned a new skill and that's good enough for me.
Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.